Hi, uh, this is Siva Devaki from uh, MassMailer. In this uh, demo video, we are going to take a look at uh, how to send emails uh, via the campaign object in Salesforce via MassMailer. So initially to start with, uh, you would want to go to the marketing app and then click on the campaigns tab. Or you can also come from App Launcher uh, directly to campaigns just by typing in um, the uh, campaigns and it will take you to the respective tab like this right both are the same so once you are <coughs> here on the campaign tab uh, you would want to select a list view uh, this is very important to remember when you select any list view it doesn't matter what list view you're selecting just select anything you would see a button called new mass mailer campaign you want to click on this button new mass mailer campaign which is going to bring up uh, a screen where you can actually give uh, your own campaign name so you can modify this campaign name so whatever we have here I'm just going to say the demo and then click on the next button and here you will see an option to add campaign members you got a uh, a few ways to add campaign members one is via this particular tab itself where you're selecting an object uh, and then you're actually selecting the status uh, and then add the uh, members to the campaign this is one approach uh, the list views that you see here are created using the mass pillar list view you also have an option to add campaign members from a salesforce report um, if you want to do that, you would want to click on this close button uh, and then add the report uh, members to this campaign. So let's take a look at this option first. So our campaign members, uh, you can select the object that is lead for now. And then you would just say, hey, I want to add this particular uh, list few members and then click on this add campaign members. You can also add more. list view members to this particular campaign it doesn't matter how many you're going to add you just have to select uh, a list view and then uh, click on this add campaign members button and if you don't want to add uh, uh, the campaign members from list view you don't have to even click on this all you need to do is just close uh, which is basically closing this campaign um, from the custom UI and it's going to take you it's going to take you back to the Salesforce uh, standard campaign view uh, what you would want to do is copy this particular name the campaign name uh, currently I'm actually going to show you how to add campaign members from a report right uh, so once you copy that uh, you would want to bring up your report uh, again it's a Salesforce standard report I already um, search for a specific uh, a report from reports uh, that is uh, my leads report and then I would want to go here and then uh, click on this add to campaign button and then um, just enter the campaign name and select the campaign add the members in the status new and it's important to know um, that mass mailer actually uh, changes the campaign member status based on uh, the activity of the uh, campaign member it could be open click unsubscribe deliver processed you know there are many more values out there like this uh, so when you're actually adding the campaign members make sure that you're always adding with the status new that's a default that we recommend and then click on the submit and now all the campaign members will get added to this campaign and you will see them here on this uh, campaign after some time if you just refresh this uh, campaign details page you would actually see the list of campaign members uh, that are uh, already added to on this uh, campaign uh, so if you scroll down you will see the campaign members have uh, been added you also have an option to add uh, from here like if you want to add contacts or leads 
um, you're actually uh, more than welcome to add them from here. Uh, again, you select what co uh, contacts or leads that you want to add and click on the next button, select the member status new and then submit. So there are various options uh, through which you can actually add campaign members, right? So once you added the campaign members, then you will go to the outreach wizard by clicking on the send via mass mailer. So you will see uh, a button here, send via mass mailer. So click on that. And that's going to take you to uh, the outreach wizard where again uh, the, the campaign name is uh, pre-populated for you. Click on the next button where we display the target audience uh, where the campaign member is shown and a new status is by default selected and we display all the campaign members uh, that are already added. And then you go to the next step, you click on the next button once again and here you can actually select your uh, template. Um, again, this is a standard screen and all the flow is the same as the outreach wizard. There's no difference. Uh, so you just go say, hey, I want to select a, a template from here. Uh, it could be any template that you may have uh, created using a mass mailer template builder or um, regular template uh, that you already have in Salesforce. Those are um, the ones that we support or classic email templates. And uh, let's say you are uh, selecting an advanced template uh, and again it has uh, you know some um, information here uh, just the buttons and some layout uh, you are always welcome to change this layout um, you know this is just a demo um, then um, you know, if you want to add like a, a text item uh, just add a text item and then you can add the merge fields all of that you could do uh, and then to save uh, once you have uh, the template that is saved you go to the next step by clicking on the next button uh, again here you can upload files if you want to otherwise you can just click this and then sender options um, again we have few options here logged in user you can select a global sender you can select a record owner uh, you can send you can send on behalf of someone else or it can be a custom option completely right uh, so let's just say global sender and then uh, we select one of the email addresses from there. Um, you can do CC, you can do BCC if you want, uh, otherwise you can skip. And then here, uh, delivery options, you have an option to send it now or schedule later. Uh, and then email type option, non-transactional, transactional, transactional meaning. Uh, we don't uh, add any unsubscribe uh, link in the email and also we don't honor any unsubscribes. Uh, these are more like, uh, you know, you want to send out invoice and uh, maybe shipping notification where those are called transactional. Non-transactional is typically the sales and marketing related um, way in which you want to have unsubscribe link in the email. And also you want to honor the opt-outs. That's the main difference. Uh, you can also suppress any email event logging. You can suppress the activity logging as well. Go to the next step. Finally, you're reviewing all your work. You can also uh, do a quick uh, preview and um, you can also do a quick test by entering um, any uh, email address. Uh, it is important that you select a merge record, merge field record. If at all we, you have any merge uh, fields, we actually um, merge those values and then uh, display the, uh, the real uh, final template to you when we do the send test and then click on the send now and then finally if everything goes fine and everything looks good uh, you would want to click on this button called finish and then that is actually going to submit this uh, campaign uh, for processing uh, and then emails would be received all the email status values would be tracked back onto the campaign uh, such as email and status values, uh, opens and clicks and bounces, unsubscribes and spam reports and whatnot. We also log uh, the Salesforce activity history <clears throat> as well. Okay, so this is the uh, outreach campaign uh, that we just uh, sent out. It'll have all the information, the name and the recipient information, template info, sender info, delivery information, status and the statistics. Um, the performance and the real-time statistics, all that information is um, 
stored right here. Okay, and that's how you're actually um, going to send out email uh, using uh, the campaign object. It's a little different from um, the way you send emails uh, to mass mailing list view from uh, an outreach visit, but it is uh, you know pretty much the same. Uh, just a few differences right there. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach us out at uh, hello at massmailer.io or support at massmailer.io or you can go to our website uh, massmailer.io and you can reach us out if you have any further questions. Thank you so much for watching um, our demo video today.